Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to balance this equation where we have aluminum and HCl on the reactant side, AlCl3 and H2 gas on the product side. So to, to balance this equation we are first going to count the number of atoms on both reactant and product side. So for reactant side I have one aluminum atom, there is one hydrogen atom and there is one chlorine atom. When we move forward and find out the number of atoms on product side, we have one aluminum atom, we have two hydrogen atoms and three chlorine atoms. And this is where the problem starts. Whenever we come across a odd an odd number in the equation, it is a bit tricky if you try and balance it the usual way that we go. So first of all, I'm going to make this number even by adding a coefficient to over here so that I'll have six chlorine atoms because it is easier to fix it this way. So I have six chlorine atoms now and because we have six chlorine atoms on the product side means we have six chlorine atoms on the reactant side as well. So I'm going to fix the chlorine atoms first. So now I have, I'll add coefficient six over here. So I have six chlorine atoms over here and similarly it changes the number for hydrogen atom as well. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add a coefficient three on the product side so that we have six hydrogen atoms over there as well. Now if you look at this equation, the number of atoms of hydrogen and chlorine are balanced and to balance the aluminum off, I just need to add a coefficient 2. So I am going to add a coefficient 2 on the reactant side and voila, it's done. You have a balanced equation where we have 2 Al plus 6 HCl on the reactant side, 2 AlCl3 and 3 H2O on the product side. I hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.